I'm assuming you're a developer, and I'm assuming you've got all sorts of chaos going on in your machine. Yeah, so we are striving to be the workflow co-pilot that helps with that problem, exactly. So, you know, everywhere you go, you're in the browser, browsing some documentation, researching, looking up solutions, you're chatting with your coworkers, your teammates, and your whatever chat tool your company's given you, and then hopefully doing some coding in the IDE every once in a while. Yeah, exactly. So every, every all through that, you're kind of building all this information, there's so much context, and you're probably gonna lose it, maybe forget about it, forget where you placed it, you got 15 tabs open. So we are trying to surface that context for you, help you remember anything, and uh, get you going. Yeah, I've, I've, I've done all, all different kinds of, I, my latest thing is, uh, is the company I'm working for now, they're Google back. Uh -huh. So I've just got a Google Doc. Anytime I run into something, I yep. paste it in there. And I, yes. That thing is like 50,000 pages. For sure. On and I start another one. And I'm sure that your code snippets get wrecked in that formatting. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, yep. <laughs> yeah. So you're definitely our target audience here. Yep. So, I mean, so. I did, what we started out was with specifically that problem with the code snippets where we were like, okay, how do I build up a nice repo of code snippets that I, like, I find this, I save it, I want to reuse it later, um, but keep all the good stuff, keep all the formatting, and maybe even make it a little more valuable. So that's where we started. So, you know, say you're researching in the browser and you see a piece of code that you like, you're a Flutter dev today. I don't know what you actually do. Uh, C sharp, C sharp. Okay, well, today you're Flutter. <laughs> and um, so what we have is a pieces um, actions here because we have a piece integration and you can you can also you don't need that you can just copy paste it right into the app or whatever um, but what you do is you save it to pieces and here it is in pieces now this is the pieces desktop app okay. we've got a suite of tools but for the sake of the demo we'll, we'll just stick with the desktop app um, so here's your snippet we've gone ahead and used some on-device machine learning models to classify it as dart to give it a title to generate an explanation for what this does we've tagged it accordingly we've uh, shown you where you got it from we even actually started relating it to this person because this person which is my other account does a lot of flutter okay. and so it starts to kind of connect those dots it okay. says okay this person does something like that so this person might be related <laughs> so now all of a sudden you've got this huge nice group of uh, snippets you can save it search it um, share it with your coworkers, and all the code that you could ever need is right there so that was phase one and then the uh, LLMs came out and we we're like oh we're already doing some machine learning we should leverage this new AI tech and so how can we make a co-pilot actually useful um, so we created Created a copilot that is contextualized to the code that you're working on. So I just started a copilot chat that is using that code snippet we just looked at as context. So now all the conversation is going to be targeted towards that. Uh, it has context to that snippet. So you're having a really useful conversation all of a sudden. And we can make it more useful. We can add more and more um, context to it files, folders. You can pull something down. So if I add this folder full of widgets that my coworker created, um, so I've got context set and I can say, Flutter, Tell me Flutter, about well, Smart well, Image. Well, smart well, Image well, is a well, custom well, widget well, that my coworker well, Mac well, made, well, and well, it's not going to be on the internet. Yeah. But because I just well, um, added its context, well, it knows what well, Smart well, Image well, is, and it's going to well, give well, me some good so detail on it, it like help me use well, it, and kind of build it out. So, so is, is, is this running locally? Or is it yes, 100. percent So um, every all the code snippets are stored locally. All your copilot chats. The only thing that's not local is obviously well. There's there's a few cloud impacts like related links. Obviously, we got to go to the internet for that kind of thing. And if you share snippets, that's obviously some cloud impact. Um, but we also use the different LLMs as your runtime. So you use ChatGPT, so that's OpenAI. Um, we also, you can use any of the um, OpenAI models as the runtime, but you can also use Gemini. You can also use Claude. So these are all just different options for the copilot. And if you want to keep everything on device, you can use a, download an on-device model and just use that. I'm super excited about it. Oh, good. I'm so glad.